Hey guys and welcome to our next tutorial of how to make accordion pleated skirt. So as from our last video you already know that we need to make a waistband which in my case will be 60 cm wide and 4 cm height. I will also use my arrangement points because it's just the easiest way. Turn it around and sew the waistband together. Okay. And simulation. Okay. If you also remember, it's good to strengthen this, the waistband and it's also good to actually put a bond on with a fusible reinforcement. Okay, now we can also actually freeze it because it's just good and it will stay there. Okay, uh, you can use you know any type of skirt you like, but I will be using actually three thirds of circle skirt. So if you remember, we need to make an ellipse and we need to make the internal ellipse. Okay, and in this case, you need to calculate. So if I know that my waistband is 60 centimeters wide and I want three thirds of the skirt, then I have to put there 60 plus 30, which is half of the 60, so that means 90 centimeters, and okay. Then I need to move it to the middle and converge to whole. And then I just need to cut out, you know, the one, Fourth, which I don't need. Okay, so that, that, and that, and cut, and delete. Okay, then if you remember, we just need to turn it around. If you don't remember, just go back to my tutorial about how to make a circle skirt, and there you can go, you know, step by step. I just don't want to waste this tutorial only on how to make a circle skirt, because we should already know how to do that. So, oops, okay, I will sew it all together. And simulation. Okay, and it went through. <laughs> so you can see that in my case we're gonna have really short skirt, but it doesn't really matter because it's really up to you what you like. Yeah? Okay. So now you have many options actually how to make a cordon pleated skirt. You can use the tool here, which is called pleats, but honestly, I just prefer the old way method, let's say, the one before, you know, all the new tools came in. And that's just by selecting the two lines with shift, so the two connecting lines, and with a right button mouse, you need to find disturb internal line between segments. Okay, and here you can write a number. So you can either click and you can see it's just getting, you know, more and more lines. But for example, if we want 60, that's too much. 50. So you can put 50 and all these lines are going to be the accordion lines. So it's really up to you and it's really nice to actually see that you can just decide whatever you like and you press OK. OK. In this case, nothing happens. You just have like internal lines there. So now how to make it accordion. It's actually quite tedious work, but you know, you do it once and then you don't have to do it again. You need to actually select all the lines to fold the right direction. So with shift, you select every oops, second line, which is at the skirt. And we're doing this because we actually need to assign an angle. And you know, every second line will be at one angle and then the other way around. So. I'm going to select the first ones. And here in property editor, you find an option fold. And now we are at 180, that means it's straight. But if we put it at 360, that means it's going to go one direction, right? And you can also see that like the fold we put there, it already has like blue grayish color. And the rest of the lines we didn't select actually has red. So that's really easy for us to guide which lines we should select right now. So now we are just selecting the other lines which we did not select before. And again, it's every, you know, second line. So let's just go around. And now we are not going for a 360, but we are actually going for a zero. Okay. And you can press simulation. Ooh, and not much has actually happened. So just before we move any further, I would like to assign a fabric. I'm going for a silk in this case. And 
and yeah we see that even though we assign the folding and we see the lines here not much has happened it could be because of the particle distance but it actually is not what you need to do now is select all the lines you have here and you can do it by just selecting you know the whole skirt and with shift you can unselect all the lines which are around so all the lines which are not the folding line you need to unselect okay and then when you go to your property editor you need to actually click on fault rendering and that's where the magic happens so we see now that suddenly already there is a big difference we can actually unfreeze our waistband and now you just need to put it into particle distance 5 and render it. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like and I will see you at the next lesson. Bye bye!